Hi guys, Reverend Crystal Cox here. When you're trying to figure out which direction is the best to go and you get all in a spin and you just, you're just constantly in this loop of which direction? What if I go this way, this will happen. If I go this way, this will happen. I found myself in that many times in my life. And I always pray for a sign, a clear sign. And if it's not uh, clear enough, I keep praying. And quite often, I keep getting stuck in that same spin. But lately, I've been studying a lot about probabilities. And um, one example is like a three-way mirror. Not a three-way, but you know how there's a mirror and they fold out so there's three mirrors? And you can see the path in each one. And they all have lessons. They all have good. They all have things that are going to be kind of difficult. But oftentimes we hold still because we don't know which one's best or which one's the one. The thing is, is there's not the one. Okay? Um, there are many probabilities to what our life can be. Set your intention. What are the clear things that you want? Like you want uh, to be pain free, you want to be healthy, you want to have money, you want to have true love, all that, whatever. You know, be clear about what it is you want. What it is, why, what are you going down that path for? Do you want a really good job? I mean, it's my opinion that you never pray or ask or wish for a really good job. Really what you want is money, so you can spend more time with your family and more time on your creative projects and your spiritual projects than ask for the money, not the good job. So, in this probabilities thing, and, and, and the Pleiadian stuff talks a lot about this. Um, this book I've been reading, this Mother Wit, is a really good book. And quite a few different spiritual information talks about the probabilities. So basically, you know, if you go down this path a little way, then this path will emerge. You go down this, and then you'll, you'll, you'll always have all of these different options. And you've seen probably those movies, like the movie Sliding Doors, where you know, if she didn't get fired, this happened. If she did get fired, this happened. And they play the different lives side by side. Well, in that case of that movie, one of them ended up being better for her. But the thing is, is she would have eventually come through the other side. So there was another set of lessons. So you just basically, you sit in a positive, high vibrating energy. You're holding the frequency of love and light and pray and get really clear and make a choice. It's okay if... It turns out you don't like it, or <laughs> you end up in a lot of hardship. Um, just trust that you made that choice. There was the lessons in that choice. You won't have to repeat those lessons when you die and cross over and have to decide again which lessons you're going to do here on Earth, and you decide your next life. You won't have to do that lesson, okay? So don't say, you know, woulda, coulda, shoulda. You know, I, if 10 years ago I would've done this, I'd be doing this now, I'd be doing this now. Just have complete faith in yourself and in the Holy Spirit that the path you took was what you needed to experience. And be gentle on yourself. There's a whole world out there to, you know, give you heck about this or that or put you down or think negative thoughts about you and, and don't do it to yourself. Okay, surround yourself with the white light of the Holy Spirit. Uh, speak positive, think positive the best you can. And if you make a decision, don't say, well, you know, that was a bad decision. You say, well, I, I learned that one. You know, and keep moving forward and keep moving in a direction that you want to go with the intentions known of what it is that you want. You know, you're not just fumbling along. You're clearly uh, in the center of what it is you want to accomplish. Okay, and all of these different probabilities, you know, there is no death. So you're going to die at the end of all of them in an earthly way in your human vehicle, but then you're going to cross over and you're going to either come back or not. Um, um, I believe in, of course, reincarnation, and I don't believe in hell, and I believe that we, um, we judge ourselves when we cross over, and we look at our lessons that we learned and we didn't learn, and then we come back and do, do it again. Um, you have to study this information for yourself, but, you know, the mainstream religion and the one true God religion seems to put so much guilt and shame that people don't develop their psychic abilities, they don't develop their intuition, they don't do alternative things because they certainly don't like the word goddess because they think that they're going to go to some imaginary hell that, that's been put on them, okay? That's just not real, folks. That's not the truth, okay? So basically, don't judge yourself. Pick a path. Have all the right intentions when you do it. And when you're on it, if something that you deem bad happened, don't judge yourself for picking the wrong path. You knew it was the right path when you did it, so it was.
okay? I tend to doubt myself so much that I pick a dozen paths and I just get on the merry-go-round and spin and spin and spin and spin and spin and spin. Then I realize there is no wrong path. Have fun, enjoy myself, set my intention, uh, pray that spirit show me what is of my highest frequency, what is of my highest potential, what can I do to help Mother Earth to raise her vibration and to raise the frequency of all people and animals and plants on this earth. What can I do to, to, with my skill set, the spirit can see it better than you, uh, please give me a clear sign, show me a clear direction. You, know, you can do all the prayer and intention and clarity that you want and still end up having something that you feel is negative. But it isn't. Trust it. It's meant to be. I mean, what's the worst case scenario? You die, somebody else dies? I mean, there is no death. If there is no death, then you don't really worry about that, right? All right, anyway just a little bit about probability. So study that in some of your spiritual information on the fact that we can choose many different paths and none of them are necessarily wrong. They're just different probabilities for our life. And if you really study astrology, which I don't know it to, to the depth, oh man, there's just so much to it. And I have uh, visited with quite a few people who do know a lot, but I do know that there's a lot of probabilities in there, and there's even probabilities, what is it, the Saturn house, Saturn or something, where Saturn's return or something, where the probabilities of when you'll die. Okay, so I believe you made this before you came here. You made a blueprint of your life, and then you move along into different probabilities that go different directions based on free will, but you have the same goals in mind of what lessons you came here in this body in order to accomplish. Okay, so there, in a sense, no good, no bad, no right, no wrong, whatever. But there's definitely light and dark. There's higher frequency and lower frequency. And I want to be of my highest frequency possible, and I came here to help raise the vibration of Mother Earth and her people. I don't know why you came here. Um, you have to decide that for yourself. Um, I'm certainly not perfect at that. I get... Uh, I, I struggle with emotional stuff here on earth. I struggle with decision making. I struggle with quite a few things and those are my, my lessons. And when I step outside of myself and I look and I go, okay, well, these are what I'm working on now. And just find a, find a direction and go it and try to be at peace best I can. So anyway, just a little bit on those of you who have been talking to me about not being able to make certain life decisions and um, not being able to trust yourself. God is blessing.